Welcome to the Ninja Media Script. My name is Tony Lee and I'm the original creator of this script and I'm going to take a few moments and just kind of walk you through how to set it up and how to customize it. So right now I'm on my local machine and I have a folder called Ninja Media Script inside of my sites directory. And what you'll want to do is when the zip file that you download, you'll want to unzip it and you will want to upload the files inside of this folder to the root of your website. So right now I have pointed on my local machine ninja-media-script.com to point to this folder. And I'm just using a version of MAMP that you can download. You can also use XAMPP if you are using Windows or you can upload it to your server, your host, your hosting site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ninja-media-script.com which is the root of my domain and I will want to go to slash install. So this will be the first thing you do after you've uploaded the files. And you'll want to enter in your admin info. And then we'll want to enter in our database info. So if you haven't created a new database yet, then you'll need to go into your uh, PHP My Admin or whichever kind of SQL interface you're using and you'll need to add a new database. If you've installed a version of WordPress, you should be pretty familiar with this process. So I'm just gonna call this database Ninja. And after I've done that, then I'm gonna go back in here and fill in my database info, localhost, Ninja, and root root. And you can select to add the pre-installed media, which there's close to somewhere around 50 to uh, they're probably around 50 images that are already pre-installed. You can choose to add those if you'd like, or you can select that off. I'm just going to leave it checked and I'm going to click install. And it will show you every single step of the way of adding, uh, connecting to the database, adding the database tables, and then uh, adding your admin login info. So then you'll click here to view your site and you can see that the site loads up very similar to the demo site. So what you'll want to do is go to your name, your new admin login up here on the top right and you'll want to click on the admin and inside of the admin functionality this is where you can uh, inactivate media or delete media or edit media same with comments users categories and settings and even your custom code so right now what I'm gonna dive into is the settings and this is going to be where you can change your website name you can change your website description and you can upload your own custom logo uh, you can then choose the favicon that you would like you can change the primary color right now you can see the primary color is kind of like a reddish like a dark red color uh, the secondary color which will be links and a few other buttons within the website and you can choose even the like icon so we could say that maybe we wanted it to be a star in here um, and we could choose like a different color scheme so we could make that like a dark color scheme in here we'll want to put in our facebook app key and facebook secret um, our google oauth like key and secret key so users can sign up with their google or facebook if they would like to you can then choose to auto approve posts um, if you want to allow users to be able to submit data and then it already approved or you can go into the back end and then you would have to approve it that way. Um, you'll also want to enter in uh, some of your social network stuff like your Twitter username, uh, your Facebook page ID, and a couple other, your Google Plus ID. And then here you can add a sidebar advertisement that will go over here on the right. So I'm just going to update those settings. And then you can see here we have kind of the uh, dark looking uh, header and a few other elements of the website is a little bit different and what you, what is really cool is you can also go into your admin and you can click on custom code and you can actually add your own custom CSS so if there's some kind of style that you wanted to change you can actually customize it as much as you would like so I'm just gonna go back into the admin and then back into the settings and I'll just change that back to light maybe I'll give the color kind of like a blue and I'll click update settings. So you can see that the uh, color scheme on the site, if that's what your logo is kind of like, you may want to have a blue color scheme. You can see that the instead of it being a thumbs up, you could change it to a smiley face or a heart, or in this case, so we change that to a star. So that is how you would go about setting up the Ninja Media Scripts and there will be a couple other videos that I will add, such as uh, uploading new media, uh, uh, being able to delete media, being able to delete users, um, 
and we'll go to that in further details but uh, I just wanted to kind of give this an introductory into the Ninja Media Script and I hope you guys enjoy I've had some fun writing it and um, I look forward to your feedback and to speaking with you soon